hi ladies welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm doing something that is necessary today okay now what i have realized is that for me this year in 2021 i am doing things differently okay i was the type of person last year i, I definitely did this um where I would hold back a little bit and this year I'm not doing it and it's not just this year it's now going to be throughout life so an example this is going to sound very very silly to some people but to me it was something that I would hold back on is wearing something sometimes well a lot of the time to be fair that I felt like would get too much attention I would steer away from it and <laughs> hello what I want to do is to go out and get the attention of men so that I can be approached by them so why am I then limiting myself and going out and wearing something that is not going to get me that attention and I know that if I do it lots of other women are doing that too and for me this year I have literally said to myself that this year I do not care. I'm doing what I want to do, when I want to do it, I'm wearing what I want, how I want to wear it. I'm going to be wearing more mini things, I'm going to be wearing more like sets and if you're on my Instagram you would have seen my picture so I'm going to be wearing more things like that and hats i'm going to be doing more accessories i'm doing more jewelry now so i'm just trying to push myself and i think that this is a video that is needed because even from my christmas video that i did i don't know if many of you are doing that and doing that work and pushing yourself to be the person who you want to be i don't know if all of you are doing that and I am doing that to the fullest from this moment moving forward. I've been doing lots of shopping, I've been buying basically an entire new wardrobe, um, lots of new things, new looks, things that I wouldn't have worn before but that I would have liked and I am now just going to be dressing exactly how I want to dress. So in essence it's about not being nervous of getting attention from men and from women <laughs> okay we're going to be speaking about that attention in a second um because it can be good attention and it can also be negative attention so i'm going to get into that in a minute but it's about wearing things that you feel like you look nice in and going out and being your best self you know putting your best foot forward and just pushing yourself pushing those boundaries um like i went out today with my new look and yes we're in lockdown right now but i had some parcels that i needed to return packages to return and stuff so i went to run some errands today and i was getting a lot of attention um so let me just show you there's lots of boobs in your face just then um oh <laughs> let me check my wig honey okay all right we're good um i was wearing this hat today and i got this off of asos but it's actually from river island um so i was wearing this hat and my faux leather trousers i was also wearing a pair of suede heeled ankle boots and this stepped things up for me okay this stepped things up for me and just a small thing like adding a hat it just it's it's an extra something it's an extra something that you have taken the time out to put on and to add to your outfit and not everybody is wearing hats especially not cute ones like this and it gets attention this is my first time purchasing like a cute hat to go with outfits you know so just a small subtle change like that can make a huge difference to the attention that you are attracting and the men who are noticing you so just note that ladies um but 
with that attention comes positive attention and comes negative attention now i have like i guess i actually have a story time for you to be fair because girl <laughs> it gets crazy it actually gets crazy so when you are getting that attention from guys you can get good attention and bad attention or should i say attention that is wanted and attention that is scary um now if you are in the situation whereby you are being stalked down the road by somebody who looks very undesirable and when i say looks undesirable i mean just not somebody who you'd want to be approaching <sighs> not taking no for an answer getting crazy that's a scary situation to be in and i have been <laughs> in that situation a few times um i think it's like being in the wrong place at the wrong time um yeah so if you're in that situation and somebody like that is approaching you with your new look you know now you're dressing how you want to you're adding accessories you're doing the most at this point you know you're doing the most you're doing you you're wearing what you want to wear and you're wearing things that suit you you're not caring about any insecurities you have you're just doing it when you're doing that your confidence is booming and men are going to notice but it's all men it's not only the ones who you want to notice you so if you're in that situation and you're being stalked down the road this guy's not taking no for an answer it can be very scary because i have been in that situation before a few times and just tell him look i'm in a relationship and if he doesn't care and he probably won't because most of the guys who are stalking you down the road do not care if you're in a relationship then you could then instead you could say something like look i've just come out of a seven-year relationship i am still getting over it right now I'm, I'm healing i'm healing and he should understand what you mean because he is the type of man who makes women need to heal in the first place with his crazy self stalking people down the road okay so he should understand that um but if it does get really scary like the situations that i've been in and it gets to the point where maybe they want to attack you like physically hurt you or they're shouting at you i have been in these situations then you have to find somebody to so walk into a shop walk into a restaurant walk into anywhere where people are and tell security or tell somebody that this person is literally harassing you um We'll go over on to attention from women in a second and good attention from men in a second. Um, but I feel like it's important to get this out of the way because when you guys are dressing even better and your confidence is booming, you are going to get more attention. And I just want you to be equipped and um, be prepared for different situations, okay? Then there might be the situation where your safety is really at risk so this was this was years ago for me okay and i was coming i was going home and it was it was kind of late i have to say it was maybe around midnight 12 30 the latest um it was a weekend so the people who i was out with we all lived in different places we were going different ways and at this point i was now by myself and i was walking down the road to get to the cab station and i was going to get a cab home and there was a guy standing right at the top of that road so as soon as i turned into this road which actually happened to be quite qu it was quiet okay nobody else was actually on that road and that was quite weird because it was like a saturday night friday or a saturday night and it was next to the cab station so naturally you would think it would actually be busy but nobody was on that road and the guy was at the top of this road when i turned into it 
and he was trying to talk to me and I was just ignoring him pretending that I couldn't hear him the next thing I knew I could hear footsteps speeding up a tiny bit so I thought to myself okay wait no 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 that's not what we're doing um and just when like you're trying to evaluate like everything that's around you and the distance from yourself to the cab station the footsteps were getting faster um so long story short i had to run okay i had to run down that road and it wasn't that long of a road to get to the cab station but in a situation like that it seems like a long road okay so i was literally running away from this man who was chasing me down a quiet road um at night i got into the cab station i was fine nothing did happen to me i got into the cab station i told the guy behind the um behind the panel uh behind the screen uh, thing that you know somebody was chasing me la 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 and guys the person who was chasing me was literally standing right outside the cab station waiting for me to come out so when my cab was ready the guy from behind the screen thing behind the counter he walked me out to the car and the guy was still out there and he said why didn't you speak to me i was calling you i was trying to speak to me uh, trying to speak to you it's embarrassing that you didn't answer me i just i got in the car and i just i just went okay i just i left um because that's a situation that is very daunting and i don't think that like i wouldn't want one of you to be in that situation so just make sure if you are going home and it's late don't do what i did okay don't be as silly as me and walk down a quiet road by yourself make sure you just call yourself an uber or go home with friends or have arranged things properly don't be like me and learn from my mistakes okay but there is the good attention as well so when you are having that good attention from men it's exciting it is like when i say it, a good attention from men i mean when the men who you actually want to notice you begin to notice you smile at you look at you approach you buy you a drink ask you for your number so they can take you out to dinner it just gives you like a buzz when that type of guy who you want to approach you is actually approaching it's like it's fun it's cute and like it's, it's it's nice you know but it is exciting when that starts happening and it is the complete opposite feeling to when tom dick and harry chasing you down the street and won't take no for an answer it's entirely different when mr investment banker is talking to you and wants to take you out for dinner it's completely different so um just embrace that attention when you do start getting it from desirables then there is also women okay because the main thing for in my opinion that makes other women not want to go out and wear certain things is because they know you know that deep down here in your heart chakra okay you know that other women are going to notice they are going to be angry about you wearing what you choose to wear on your own body um because of the competition aspect and the jealousy aspect and the fact that at the end of the day as women we want to be the prettiest okay it's 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 just it's a thing okay you want to look your best and if somebody else you feel like they look better some people don't know how to deal with it and they give dirty looks or they say something horrible or you know they're talking about you blatantly in public with their friends because you're wearing a mini skirt let's say i was wearing this 
you know that women are going to have a problem with it um men won't men will be looking men will like it but women will hate it and that's just what it is at the end of the day so you have to learn to deal with that when you start wearing the things that you want to wear maybe before you've been buttoned up to here and now 2021 new year new you so maybe you're going to stop wearing things that are a little bit more low cut and you're going to be showing some cleavage or something and that attention that you're going to be getting from women isn't always going to be positive so you have to seriously understand that um you also have to understand though that there are so many women as well who when you look nice will actually approach you and say oh i love your skirt i've had that lots of times where women will actually compliment me on my outfit or oh i love blah 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 or where did you get your perfume from it smells so nice or you know so on the flip side of the negative aspect of how women perceive you when you're dressing how you want to dress and when you're dressing to what appeals to men some women have a problem with it but some women actually um they they don't find it as um as something negative they just feel like oh she looks really nice where did she get her skirt so it's more of a positive experience than the other experience where you know you're getting dirty looks and you know people rolling their eyes or staring at you really weird because you're wearing something that they don't have the courage to wear so yeah just be mindful of that ladies but i'm going to love you and leave you i have oh i literally recorded so many videos and the audio is crazy like it's really really bad i hope that this audio is better i have ordered and i'm using right now a new microphone so comment in the comment section if you are happy with my audio sound um if it's still not good enough then obviously i will try to get a different microphone and see if that is any better so comment below if you're happy with the audio and then we can stick to this or whatever i don't know um but yeah it's like 1am so i'm going to snatch off this wig wipe off this makeup and get into bed and i'm going to love you and ladies and leave you here instagram on the screen right now if you're not following me then go over and i will see you lovely ladies in my next video